RAI, or also called right atrial isomerism, is a situs ambiguous with bilateral right-handedness. There is often complex heart disease associated with this syndrome. Here is an example of RAI. Today, we will be looking at the case of cranial caudo facial presentation. Let's start with the first step. Step 1. First, with your transducer, identify the fetal head, then rotate it 10 to 19 degrees to get the fetal neck position. Next, you sweep it downward from the fetal neck along with the spine to obtain a clear sagittal view. Please be aware that the fetal head is on the left side of the observer on the video screen. Step 2. Since it's a vertex presentation, you need to rotate the transducer 90 degree clockwise to obtain the transverse view. Step 3. We will be taking a look at the left hand rules of them, adapted by Bronston and instructions from Dr. Le Kim Thuyen. The wrist will be the fetal head, the palm will be the fetal abdomen, dorsal side of the forearm will be equivalent to the fetal back, fingers will be equivalent to the fetal feet. Put your left hand on the same position of fetal body. A small reminder that since this is a vertex presentation, the wrist, which is the fetal head, will be inferior. In this example, the fetal spine is at the bottom of the screen, so your hand dorsal will be at the bottom. Step 4. With the transverse view, you need to create a straight line from the spine that divided the fetal body into half, then apply the technique. You will notice the thumb and heart are positioned as listed below. Which leads us to the conclusion that the fetal heart is on the left side of the fetal chest. Thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to follow and have more content like this in the future.